Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths and today we are going to solve a very nice trigonometric problem okay so here the trigonometric problem which we are going to look at is we have to prove that sin x plus tan x upon 1 plus sec x is equal to sin x so now in this case what you should do so here let's focus on the LHS so your LHS is nothing but what sin x plus tan x upon 1 plus sec x. Now, when, whenever you have these kind of questions, your hint is in your RHS. If you look at your RHS, it is what equals to sin x. So, your job is to try and convert tan x and sec, sec x in terms of what? Sin and cos. So, how do you do this? Okay. So basically I can say tan x is equals to sin x upon cos x and sec x equals to 1 upon cos x. So here we can say sin x plus sin x instead of tan x we will write sin x upon cos x upon 1 plus 1 upon cos x. Okay, now taking the LCM on both sides, we get sin x or numerator and denominator. Okay, sin x into cos x plus sin x upon cos x. Here we have cos x plus 1 upon cos x. So, here please understand we are having a fraction over a fraction, fraction situation like a upon b divided by c upon d. So in fractions you have to remember we will follow the rule of KCF where K stands for keeping the first fraction as it is which is a upon b into b upon c. Now why did I do that because c stands for changing the division sign to multiplication and f stands for taking the reciprocal. So here basically what happened over here, see instead if you look over here, your B was basically cos x, okay. And your D was also cos x and eventually B and D if they are same they can cancel. This is what happened over here as well. So this and this gets cancelled. So now basically your numerator has just sin x into cos x plus sin x upon we have it is what we have is 1 plus cos x okay now what we can do is we'll take sin x common from the numerator so we are just left with 1 plus cos x and in the denominator also i have 1 plus cos x so since 1 plus cos x is same in the numerator and the denominator we can cancel this so we are just finally getting this as what sin x which was your rhs so you saw how easily you could solve this kind of a question. Okay, so I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.